After all that, now that I've had the refund, um, once it was all in PayPal, I couldn't resist the urge to uh, splash out a little bit on a few bits and bobs. Nothing major. Um, one of them, although I'm still waiting for confirmation for that, will be a uh, with doll body, one of the new bodies. I know I did the review on Judge recently, um, <clears throat> but I have the second head and they're doing a special at the moment, a spring special, where you can get the coloured resins. And because he's rosy, but he's like that really unusual rosy brown colour, which I love, um, but there's going to be very few opportunities to um, to get that in the original form. Not the, U not the UV rosy brown, but the actual original form like Judge, so that I can get a body to match the other head. And then I might actually have a whole bo bo body on the, a whole doll to sell um, at some point in the future. But that's going to take a few months, obviously, they've got to make that and everything that's coming new. Um, but also, um, I wanted, I sort of mentioned in passing that I'd had enough of Rose's blue eyes for the time being. They were lovely in fantasy, but I'd had enough. So I thought I'll go completely the opposite and I'll try and find it as realistic as I can. Uh, I've been watching Denali's, Denali Wynn's um, YouTube uh, episodes quite keenly with her eyes and everything that she's been talking about and that was a great review the other day um, so I thought I'd mention that I had actually found a German company called Canis Algen well I didn't find them it's, it's, they're mentioned any, everywhere but uh, I ordered a couple of pairs I don't know if you can see these ones very well but it's a, an example of I, wonder if, I don't think it'll hang on I don't think it'll focus because I've got so much going on in the background. Let's try this. Right, bear with me. Well, you can't really see because they're so brown anyway, but what I did want to show was the fact that you can see how handmade they are by the fact that they are actually hollow. So this is, the, now I understand the difference between like regular glass eyes and the craftsman made, handmade glass eyes. And also, when we were talking about domes, there is no dome, hardly at all. It's, um, they had a picture of the process. Uh, and if I've got, yeah, one of my glue sticks, what, what, from what I can tell, what they do is uh, they make a cane of coloured glass, a bit like a glue stick, um, and they blow the sphere and whilst they're blowing the sphere, they, they sort of inlay the, the cane <laughs> into it so that when the when the thing is finished, how whatever it's called, when the glass blowing is finished, um, it's embedded into the eye. And it's a shame that it's night time and I've chosen a really bad time to do it. Because depth of colour or the actual depth of the eye is just incredible. There's dark ring, there's speckles in it and everything. And I actually got a really lovely special pair. They were 12s though. These these ones are because I wanted to see how what size 12s came up in a 14 eye socket. And I think you could probably just about get away with them. I don't think I'm going to be keeping these because most of my MSDs are 14s. But um, uh, they fit. There's a little tiny gap, but as long as you've got white eye putty, I don't think that would be a problem. Um, but Rose, I got Rose some untangle them from each other some size 14s but I got well, let's see if I can do this. yeah they are 14s but they have got smaller iris and smaller pupils so that they look more realistic I guess is that gonna work I'm probably gonna have to take photos and then upload them separately I'm just, oh, uh, that's not too bad. You can kind of see it. These are, they're a really nice, like they were a sort of grey green, even hazel in them. And, but the only problem I've found now is, that my face up is very under par <laughs> for a doll with very very realistic eyes so um yes i'm sure at some point now 
once again she will be getting a new face up <laughs> along with all my other things on my to-do list <clears throat> so uh so yeah well, he's lost his hat never mind um so yes that's mainly it what oh fa airbrush yeah talking of face-ups um I'm going to attempt to dust off my airbrush skills. The only things really that I've airbrushed in the past regarding dolls were her balloon, which is irrelevant because it's one colour, um, and my old practice doll's own ying head, uh, which I did just for a cosplay idea of the mirror mirror on the wall. And I did him with uh, a gold face and red flames coming in. And because I masked it off, it was easy to do with the airbrush. But my airbrush was rubbish <laughs> so it was all splattery didn't matter because it was it wasn't close up visible it was in a box and everything so it didn't matter too much so if i can um if i can revive what minimal uh, airbrush skills i had back after my college days then uh, i might attempt a slightly more reasonable face up i've got plenty to be getting on with I've got my elf doll head i've got really both with doll heads judge um, I could do my rose head. Um, I've got a couple of makey projects coming up. I've got another doll to do. Uh, I've still got mushrooms to do. I, I really want to get her done. Um, and that's it for now, I think. Uh, so yeah, sorry if you've just subscribed. It's brilliant. I've had like 17 new subscribers within the space of like the week that I've just done that last video with Jack Sparrow in. Uh, and Jack Sparrow. Um, uh, so yeah, if you're expecting all bells and whistles and exciting things for one of my video uploads, unfortunately you've got me very late at night after work, no makeup, <laughs> waffling on about a problem package from years ago that's probably not relevant at all. But regardless, there'll be good things coming up, lots of uh, creative crafty bits and bobs hopefully as well. Uh, but yeah, so just a little update that's probably really turned out quite a long update, I can't see the time on there but never mind. But yeah, I'll bring Rose back into the picture. Uh, and for anyone that doesn't know or hasn't gone back or hasn't seen previous videos, this girl is a uh, doll in mind Luria. Um, and I love her. She's She was my first doll. She's my favourite and I love her face. And she's had various incarnations. She was the little match girl at one stage and she makes a very good waif, waif and stray type character because she's so sad looking and this is Lockhart he's a Lumi Dull Moon IO uh, with a Makey Lab eye patch on that I still haven't painted um, the <laughs> voodoo doll coat <laughs> I made last week and a Makey Lab lightsaber for a sword <laughs> so he's a little bit a little bit of a mixed up pirate but you know he just wanted to join in the fun so that's it can I, oh yeah and I bought some teeny tiny um, eyelashes which are probably a better scale for doing doll face ups which I'll try at some point so yes that's me uh, thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for putting up with my crazy ways and uh, yeah if you didn't see last my last upload then uh, yeah, checking out just for a giggle it was lots of fun <laughs> Okay, see you soon.